Senator Cruz. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. For the past year and a half, we've seen a pattern from the Biden administration of nominating ideological zealots to our courts. A moment ago, Ms. Abudu, in answering questions from Senator Lee, you said you understood the difference between an advocate and a judge. Well, I'm sure you do. You've never served as a judge. You've spent your entire life as an advocate. And as an advocate on the extreme left, there has been a pattern of nominee after nominee that have been extreme zealots, but I have to say your nomination, when I look at your record, I find deeply concerning. The last three years you've served at the Southern Poverty Law Center. The Southern Poverty Law Center is a hateful and extreme place. And their hate, among other things, has led to horrific violence. I'm speaking in particular about the 2012 shooting at the Family Research Council here in Washington. There a gunman sought to make a political statement by shooting as many members of the Family Research Council as possible, and he sought to smear their faces with Chick-fil-A sandwiches after he murdered them. He was only stopped due to the heroic efforts of the Family Research Council employee, Leo Johnson, whose courage saved many lives that day. The evidence in the case indicated that the shooter had assembled his targets by visiting the Southern Poverty Law Center website of so-called hate groups, where the Southern Poverty Law Center equated the Family Research Council with true bigoted hate groups like the KKK and the Nazi Party. Do you agree with your employer that the Family Research Council is equivalent to the KKK or the Nazi Party? Senator Cruz, I would first respectfully state that although, yes, I have spent a big chunk of my career as a civil rights lawyer, I, early on in my career, I was actually a staff attorney with the 11th Circuit. So I started my career and my understanding of the legal profession from the position of being and representing the court to some extent and making okay, But being sure a staff attorney is not a, not a judge. So could you answer the question, please? The que well, in terms of the... Do you agree with your employer that the Family Research Council is comparable to the Ku Klux Klan or the Nazi Party? Senator, as I shared with your colleagues earlier, I can't comment to that. I'm in the legal department. Well, why can't you? I'm asking if you agree with them. You work for them. That's what they say. Their hateful rhetoric led to an attempted murder. Do you agree with them? You went to work for them knowing that their hate had led to this violence. Do you agree with that or not? I went to work for the SPLC to help lead its voting rights okay. practice group, and that do, is Do you work. agree with your employer? Senator, again, I can't, I So you're gonna refuse familiar. to answer that? Senator, again, I can't speak to work that I did not do. You, you can say whether you agree with it or not, correct? I cannot speak to work, Senator Cruz, that I did not do. Do you agree with the statement the Family Research Council is equivalent to the Ku Klux Klan or the Nazi Party, yes or no? I cannot speak to a statement where I played no role in the research or the writing Why not? or the publication because I did not, Senator Cruz, respectfully. I didn't ask if you did it. You went to work for them. Do you, do you agree with them? Are, you're, you're refusing to answer that. Uh, let's, let's move on. What is a white supremacist? Senator, my general understanding is that a white supremacist is someone who hates people simply based on the color of their skin. Okay, your current employer has labeled three members of this committee, myself, Senator Hawley, and Senator Blackburn, as white supremacists. Do you agree with that characterization? Senator, I have never referred to you or any member of this committee. Ha has the Southern Poverty, Poverty Law Center done so? I'm not familiar with the exhaustive list of policymakers that might have been researched and profiled by another department within the organization that I How I'm many not... members of the United States Senate do you believe are white supremacists? 
Senator, again, sitting here before you, I would not call any single member of Congress. But you're proud way. to work for an or organization that does. I'm proud to do voting rights work on behalf of an organization that provides pro bono counsel to individuals, especially low income individuals. So let me ask South. you, how could, how could anyone who is not on the radical left, how could someone who's pro-life, how could someone who's conservative, how can someone who's religious have any degree of confidence if they were to appear in a court with you as a judge, you've spent a lifetime working for groups that smear half this country as white supremacists and Klansmen. That is offensive. My dad came as an immigrant to this country from Cuba with nothing. That is hateful language. How could any litigant expect to get a fair shot if you were a judge given your advocacy and history of extreme advocacy? Because Senator Cruz, my father came to this country with nothing in his pocket as well. But why don't you give that grace to others? I do, Senator. That's what my religious freedom, my free speech work, my voting rights work, my criminal justice work, Senator Cruz, all of that work that I've done represents my commitment to making sure that all people at least have equal access to justice and equal justice under law. Thank you. Senator Hawley. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Congratulations to the uh, nominees and thanks for being here. Ms. Abudu, if I could just start with you. You said to Senator Ossoff just a couple of minutes ago that you believe in the First Amendment, right? 